So after recently giving away 10 regular Fennex, you guys seem to love it. So I just bought 24 more, which I'm going to be giving away on the channel on the road to half a million subs. And every single week, I'm going to select one random person that is subbed to the channel to win a free Fennex. So yeah, make sure you are subscribed. That is literally it, and it's completely free. So today, I'm going to be showcasing every single method on how to get the glitch Black Octane on Rocket League. And this thing looks honestly incredible. guys so welcome back to the channel i hope you're having a fantastic and safe day as always and i've been getting so many requests to do the video so here we are today showcasing how to get a black octane so not too long ago we took a look into the rockety files and there's actually other colors in the game files that haven't been released yet so if you want to stick around on the channel for more glitches and so much more make sure you are subscribing drop a like on the video if you want to see a black octane finally come to rocket league and yeah let's jump straight into it quickly before we do jump into this video i'd love to give a huge shout out to the fan favorite sponsor on the channel aoa.com so i've been working with these guys for several years years now and they're the fastest and most reliable place to pick up any rocket league item and by using the code in the description you are going to get yourself six percent off every single purchase so i think we can all agree season three has been good and bad for so many situations you know the trade-ups and tournament rewards honestly amazing but the trading session a little bit meh but the glitches have honestly been a different level this time because by taking a look at my car right here we have got a black octane with the dune racer decal yep you're seeing that correctly honestly i had no idea at first but when i started getting like tagged in tiktok videos etc it was insane but obviously we We've had a full rotation, but just to prove, obviously, it's black. Look at the difference right there between the decals. Such a big difference. It's like grey before, and now it's completely matte black. Obviously, though, that thing's going to run you about 3,000 credits if you want to get a regular one, and all of the painted stuff, obviously, going to be more expensive. But next up, we've got a twisted tree decal on a spreadsheet right there. Worth about 50 credits. Keep in mind, this is obviously a glitch in the game right now. Could get patched literally at any time. So if you are going to buy something, buy it at your own risk. But yeah, twisted tree. Honestly, looks really good. I've got a striker black one, which is really OG. But once again, just to prove it's obviously black. Taking a look at the car right there with a random decal. It is just so different. Honestly, they've done a really good job of this glitch. I've honestly got no idea how people find it. But next up, finally, we've got an old Rocket Pass decal from the Rocket Pass 1 from Season 1, which was like half a year ago. It was one of the early tiers. And if you actually bought the Rocket Pass, this is going to be completely free to you technically. And yeah, honestly, it looks okay on the car. Obviously, not a decal I'm ever going to use because I use Strike White Dune Race and nothing else. But once again, just to prove, I have no idea how someone found this decal and picked it out. But yeah. Once again, make sure cargo completely black. And yeah, purely for the fact it's one of the early tiers on like the rocket pass, this thing is not tradable. So yeah, if you do want to get yourself one of these, the Twisted Tree is about 50 credits right now. Probably pay even less than that. And like I said already, it's a glitch in the game. Probably will get patched at some point. So buy at your own risk if you do want to get one. Just as a little test start, I went onto my Rocket League car on my main car setup. And what on earth is even going on right here? There's like a layer of lime and then black. And then obviously when I go back to like the regular one, it is completely matte black. Looking really good. And we're going to check out Slay because this guy, an amazing TikToker if you do want to check him out. And he has all of the inside info on what's happening on Rocket League. On his TikTok, he previously showed like an Onyx paint color, which is like black to be fair. They never got released. And obviously at the same time, the Octane's already black. But taking a look, there's like a different shade. Nowhere near as black as obviously the glitch we've got right now, but still just proves obviously there's definitely a colored octane out there that is still in the files, maybe. You can see right here is showcasing all of the colors that didn't make it into the full entire game. So you've got like platinum, rose gold, gold, white gold, so many awesome colors. But at the same time, every single video I saw on TikTok showing this glitch was from the Dune Racer. And I just want to say, you don't have to spend 3k credits to get a black octane glitch. All you have to do is either have it from the Rocket Pass to get that like random decal or have 50 credits or even less to get a Christmas tree. For this very last clip, we're going to check out every single Paint colored obviously didn't make it to the game on the Paladin and Octane just to prove obviously that Rocket League could do something like this because I feel like it would be a great idea obviously for the market's sake not too sure to be fair because I feel like if there's anything like gold it might ruin the price of white but at the same time we've had the same colors in the game for five ne for nearly five years now which is obviously a long time and if they brought a new color just feel like the market would just like explode I feel like it would just be like so refreshing but let me know in the comment section what you think and if you've tried out this glitch before we're gonna check out some trades I've been doing recently when I say recently with quotation marks because yeah this was done maybe over a week ago at least because with season three I've been so busy doing daily Rocket League content obviously with the Rocket League streams and sorting out trade up videos doing tournament stuff I haven't really had that much time to trade not gonna lie and the market right now is just so confusing to me because credit demand is up and down all over the place but yeah this was done obviously when i thought that the julian was gonna start rising and crimson octane on the spreadsheet you can see right there they're both doing okay but nothing amazing but hopefully because i've got like 10 julian dragons like they should go up in the future i'm not too sure when yes again another investment which i'm not too sure i did the best idea in buying so many of these because yeah checking the spreadsheet it's gone down again and Paying 650 credits was what I was doing with paint, the Big Splash, at least anyway. I, d I don't know why I said painted, but painted Big Splash. Imagine that. 
titanium white big splash would look amazing but yeah at the same time if they get taken out of rotation eventually which could be a long time they've been in rotation for the streams for over a year now at least it's been ridiculous but yeah if they ever get taken out i feel like there'll be a rise and right now yeah let yes again i've got like 10 of these things so hopefully they do go up in the future so considering the fact obviously this was done maybe a week and a half ago i saw a rise in rcs items like the helios had a little bit of a spike and emerald started popping off then and also as well the white ox in rcs which i sold one of them for 7.5 stupidly and thought i'll just buy one back because i saw a little bit of a rise and obviously yeah paying i think it was 7.9k is fine checking the spreadsheet turned out to be a big big w because i did this trade and then literally like two days two days later should i say started spiking and has been flatlining for a little bit now but even so i'm pretty sure everyone else with them is selling for like 9k so even if i need to quick sell probably get myself like 8.8k so i'll definitely take it so yeah idiotically i bought myself yet again another dueling dragons for 3.2k and checking the spreadsheet now i'm gonna check obviously you saw the spreadsheet before not looking fantastic but i'm gonna check rocketly trading post and see what people are offering because I just want to try and work it out because sometimes you can see what people are offering and offer like 50 credits less. Just keep on listing every 10 minutes and you will be set and actually find one. So people are looking for, they're not even saying like a value really. It's like 3.2k, 3.1k. So paying like 29 might be good because it's always going to be in demand. Don't get me wrong. It's the Drill and Dragons, like the best goal explosion in the game technically. So yeah, maybe pay 2.9k and make a little flip. Okay, no, 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 no. Do not pay that value. I just scrolled down a little bit. Two people are looking for 2,850. Right. I would say maybe pay like 2.6. I have no idea. But Julian Dragons has dropped a lot. Oh my god. That is absurd. But obviously, there's so many coming out of trade-ups. So, therefore, there's going to be like it flooded on the market. But yeah, wow, that just surprised me. But next up, paying 4k right here for a bundle. This guy went a quick credit. So, we're getting ourselves a Lime Marksane. Also, some score of black OEMs. A purple Trigon. Then we're getting ourselves a Fireworks. And obviously, both of these Phoenix in blueprint form. But still, that is a like massive overpay. Definitely can't say no. But yeah, that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. Obviously, there's probably not going to be a glitch for a very long time now but if you want to stick around on our channel for daily rockety content and literally so much more make sure you are subscribe and it really does help me out if you enjoyed the video and obviously want to support the channel dropping a like on the video really does help me out and yeah i guess i'll see you tomorrow recently i made a second channel and you guys have blown it up already quite a lot so let's go for 1k subs on there that'll be insane and thank you very much I am